She is a congresswoman now, but at the time, Sue Myrick was Charlotte's mayor. Yeah, and this afternoon, she is uh, talking to our Ann Sheridan about what it was like to be the leader of a city that took a direct hit from Hugo. Look at the canopy of trees here on Queens Road and all of the beautiful houses. It's simply amazing. But 20 years ago on this day, Queens Road and all of Charlotte took a beating. We fell in the path of Hurricane Hugo and we hardly had a chance. Hurricane Hugo was tough with wind gusts up to 90 miles per hour of sheer force and destruction. I remember just being up all night because of the wind howling so strongly. No one knew Hugo would come this far inland, not even then Mayor Sue Myrick and her husband. He slept through the whole thing. I'm up all night, you know, just, you know, the wind roaring and howling and all this noise. He's sound asleep. In the morning and in the light, the realization. You couldn't move and I mean our city was paralyzed. Uptown torn apart, trees everywhere across roads. Roofs blown off of homes. Myrick lived nearby in Fourth Ward. Her home spared, but not the homes around her. I couldn't get out, so I called the um, police and they came and got me. She remembers that sinking feeling. We have such beautiful trees, and you know, all those trees on, Ke on Queens Road, you know, that were destroyed. That was really heartbreaking. But Myrick does recall how neighbors bonded, helped each other. And she says the hurricane set the stage for better things. That was the beginning of our alert team here in Charlotte, and it really laid the groundwork for what we we are able to do today. After all these years and so many vivid memories, Myrick can still remember that one phone call from a resident without electricity. Some guy called me up in, very late at night and just cussed me out because he couldn't get his beer cold. Eventually, of course, the power did come on, and today, Sue Myrick is a U.S. representative. She says Charlotte is better prepared today if another storm like Hugo were to ever hit again. In Charlotte, Ann Sheridan, News Channel 36.